Hi, I'm Rob Streeter, and I just wanted to make a short video on what you need to get started in fly tying. Fly tying is a lot like any other hobby. You can spend a little or you can spend a whole lot. If you're just getting started, you really don't need the best of everything. You just want to get your feet wet and see if you enjoy tying flies. There's a lot of misconceptions. People think that, oh, I'm going to tie all my own flies and save money. Well, probably not, because every time I'm in a fly shop, I end up coming out with 30 to $40 worth of materials for tying my own flies. So you're not going to save a ton of money. But what fly tying gives you is a ton of satisfaction. It's you go out on that stream and the fish that you're catching, you're catching them with something that you made yourself, which I find very, very satisfying and it just adds to the whole sport that I'm tying my own flies. I've been tying flies for 50 years or more. I started when I was a young guy, probably about seven, eight years old. My father had an old ratty fly tying kit and I used that and that's how I got my start. I was making uh, Royal Coachman wet flies and Coachman wet flies. That's pretty much how I got my start in fly fishing and fly tying. So if you're just getting started, you can get one of these kits. They're inexpensive and this one's been used for a number of years. They come with a vise. Is it a great vise? No, it's not, um, but it'll get you started. I've used this kit for when we went camping and stuff, if I needed to tie some flies. So the vise goes on like that, and you got all the tools that you need. You got a pair of scissors, uh, bodkin, whip finisher, a bobbin for the thread, dubbing twister, hackle pliers, and a threader for the bobbin. So those are all the tools you need. You can get these now, Amazon has them for 30 to $40, depending on how good they are and what configuration they come in. But this little set will get you started, and I've tied hundreds of flies on this. Um, like I said, especially while we're out camping. If you get going in fly tying and you get that set and that gets you started, probably the first thing you're going to do is buy a couple of tools that are a little better quality. Uh, the first one you're definitely going to end up buying is a good pair of scissors. The scissors in the, the little kits are not the greatest. You might end up with a whip finisher or some other tools that you like better. Another thing that you'll probably upgrade um, is the bobbins. You can spend anywhere from $10 to $50, $60 on a bobbin. And it does make a difference. The better ones are, are easier to tie on and, you know, a little easier to work with. But that's it. I mean, tool-wise, that's, that's it. Then you need to have all the materials. So you got to get the hooks and you've got to get all of the feathers, the fur, the tinsels, the ribbing, um, crystal flash, anything else you need to make the flies. What you can do to save some money are things like this. I bought this at an outdoor show. This is a dubbing assortment. So it's got a dozen different colors of dubbing that I can use. And I take this with me when I go on trips and everything, because it doesn't take up a lot of room. Another thing that you can do to maybe take out a little bit of the cost of materials is find somebody that you know that hunts. Now, I am an avid bow hunter and I always, you know, do pretty well. I get deer, I get turkeys, and I keep the feathers. I keep the turkey feathers. I've got feathers from even when I was a younger guy in my 20s, my brother and I duck hunted and I kept the feathers from those. And somebody that hunts can help you out a lot. I um, 
had a Labrador, beautiful chocolate lab named Jesse. I used to go with Jesse for pheasants. I've got loads of pheasant tail feathers and pheasant body feathers from that. So if you find somebody that hunts, you can get bucktails, you know, deer body hair, all kinds of stuff for free. You can also talk to a taxidermist. I've had a friend that was a taxidermist give me materials like scraps and stuff from when they were mounting a, a bear. I had scraps of bear hair. I had all kinds of stuff that I got given to me that I use for tying flies. So that can cut down the cost a little bit. On hooks, you don't need the very, very, very best. Um, I've used inexpensive hooks for fly tying and I've used top of the line hooks depending on what I was going to go fish for. Uh, obviously if I was fishing for a trophy salmon I'm not going to cheap out on the hook but if you're just fishing for bass and panfish and and trout you don't really need the latest and greatest hooks. You can get like a hundred hooks for what 25 of the high-end hooks are going to cost you. It's something to think about and it's a way to save money. But I think you'll find if you do get into this and you do tie your own flies, you will truly enjoy it and have a good time. You know, later on, you may go to a much more expensive vice, and there's nothing wrong with that. But for now, you can get started very simply. You can get one of these all-in-one kits like I showed you here. You can also get inexpensive vices. There's vices on Amazon that'll get you started for $20. You can also take from there and maybe you get an inexpensive vice and a really good pair of scissors, a cheaper set of tools. So there's lots of ways you can have at it and get started without spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars to start tying flies and you know maybe you determine you don't like it after you get into it. Try small, start with the inexpensive stuff and work your way up from there. Thanks for watching.